What's up, everyone? I wanted to announce that I'm taking my finance background and going into real estate and I've become a realtor. If I can help you in your real estate investment, please email me at mapasada at gmail.com. One piece of advice I wanted to leave with you is when investing, you're not necessarily looking for what you think will be the highest value. What you're looking for is what you think will be the most improved value. Which brings us to this video. Three draft steals of the 2022 NBA draft. These are three players that will surely outplay their draft position. The first player on this list is the 28th pick of the NBA draft, San Antonio guard Malachi Brenham. Brenham is a shooter while also being one of the fastest players in the NBA draft. In this double X action, Brenham with his top speed slashes right through to the rim. And this reminded me of this recent postseason where many of the fast players like Tyrese Maxey, Jordan Poole, and Anthony Edwards all had a lot of success. The former Ohio State guard is really good at utilizing two to three dribbles to get in scoring position and also with a 6-11 wingspan he's able to use it to finish over the rim. And his first season at Ohio State, his only season, he started off a bit slow but in his last 10 games he was on a tear averaging 20.2 points per game on 56.6% field goal percentage shooting. And I gotta say what I liked the most about him was that he probably had his worst game ever against Wisconsin. He had zero points, only played 14 minutes, and was dealing with foul trouble the whole whole game. But in just one game, not five, not ten, just one game later against Nebraska, he had his career high of 35 points. And his next player is someone who's been a stud for a while, and that is Dallas Mavericks guard Jaden Hardy. I don't think his time in the G League was an accurate representation of what he could potentially be in the NBA. He is too talented. Just watch this play. Not many players can do this. He splits the screen and then he finishes over two people. Already has shown some flashes of being a good pass in the NBA. But what I think he'll be is someone that can really score it at will, score it on three levels, handle the rock, and be able to shoot the three ball from distance. And we got to remember that he's going to a great situation in Dallas with Jason Kidd being his head coach. Say what you want about Jason Kidd. During his time in Milwaukee, he did a great job developing those players. Giannis is arguably the best player right now, but in his first season, he was nowhere near this level, but he developed. And also Chris Middleton and Brogdon were also second round picks, just like Jaden Hardy. But I would even say Jaden Hardy has more talent than Brogdon and Middleton. And the third steal that I have is going to be Jabari Walker, the son of former NBA champ Samaki Walker. I'm really surprised Toronto didn't go after him because he plays like half their roster. He is someone that's very versatile on offense and defense and it's going to be hard for a coach to keep him off the court, especially because it looks like he's going to be someone that accepts his role and really fills in all the holes that you need a role player to take care of. Watching this possession, how Jabari has the awareness that his man number 15 isn't actively trying to play offense. So what does he do? He says, don't mind if I do, I'll protect the rim and clean up this layup. And then literally 30 seconds later, watch how he how hard he works to try to get this bucket, right? They're running their continuity offense. He hits the wings, sets the screen and rolls, and watch how hard he is trying to get possession on this post up. He gets the over top and slams it over the defense. It is encouraging to see that he made a nice leap from his freshman to sophomore year. Also really enjoyed his interviews where he focused on playing the right way. That his dad taught him how to play the right way. And this is important because the Warriors just won an NBA championship playing the right way on offense and defense. If you have young guys that get this, this is how you can build for a real contender. So what do you guys think? Do you like any of these prospects? Do you have someone else in mind that would be a steal in this draft? Write it in the comment section. But please know, give each player three years from now to show their true value. Also know, I'm not saying there will not be other steals in this draft. I wouldn't be surprised if Wendell Moore Jr., Nikola Jovic, Patrick Baldwin Jr. all outplay their draft position. And Johnny Davis, we look back and say he should have been a top five pick. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.